Hello everybody, Jardis here, and in today's video I'm actually on one of my Elementalist tunes because I intend to show you a Elementalist build that uses strictly the Earth Attunement. Now in most other elemental builds that I have seen online have a very complex rotation system which involves switching attunements constantly such as being in fire for two skills then switching to air for use two skills etc etc well for those of us like myself whose hands are not octopuses connected to our wrists or who have trouble being able to concentrate with all the constant shifting I'm going to introduce a low intensity version so that it is not so complex and maybe help those of us who are struggling with the elementalist build now, what we are going to be using in terms of gear is the Dire Stats, but for a cheaper alternative, you can buy the Jatoro set. I believe that is called Jatoro, J-A-T-O-R-O apostrophe S, which gives you essentially the same stats. Now, we are going to be using the Superior Rune of the Crate because our main objective in this build is to inflict as much bleeding as possible. For the weapons, we are using Double Dagger for the main, and then we are using a Scepter for the secondary main hand, mainly because the Scepter will give us a little bit of range if we choose to go range. Our sigils will be the Agony and Bursting as well as Agony on the Scepter as well. And our trinkets will be basically the Maguma Lily because we want the toughness, condition damage, vitality, and expertise. Now for the build, we're going Earth, Arcane, and Tempest. For Earth, we are going 2, 1, 1. Arcane for 1, 1, one and tempest at three two one and here is these reasons for earth two we are doing serrated stones because it increases our bleeding effect which is what we are going for for the strength of stones we are gaining toughness which inflicts bleeding to immobilize our foes again increasing our bleeding conditions and for the diamond skin we are using that just basically to remove conditions that are dealt onto us now for the arcane system we are using the arcane precision which again increases our bleeding because we're going to be staying in the earth attunement for the arcane resurrection it basically gives us an option for when we are reviving allies now we may or may not be using this a lot but it doesn't hurt and for this one, the Flame Burst, it basically gives us an additional shockwave for when we're dodging. Now, for the Tempest, we're using the Unstable Conduit because of the fact that when we use our Overload effect while we're on our Earth Attunement, we gain an actual protection and more survivability because it reflects projections that are dealt to us. For the Harmonious Conduit, we are gaining stability, which is also a nice effect, especially when we're dealing with the Earth Attunement. And finally, the Transcendent Tempest. When our overload is complete, we gain an additional damage buff. Okay, for our skills effect that we're using, we're using the Glyph of Elemental Harmony to heal ourselves and gain a boon based on our attunement. We are using the Signet of Earth to improve our toughness which also also increases our bleeding effects. We're using Sandstorm. We're using Glyph of Lesser Elementals and Glyph of Elementals. Now, for to prepare for a fight, we're going to want to keep our elementals, both of them up as much as possible. The main reason for that is, is that they will draw aggro for our enemies while we inflict bleeding on them from a distance. Now, to test, show you how this build works, we are going to go over and we're going to go after this hero point here, which is in the Desert Highlands. I call this one the Crystal Stealing Hippie. Now, what we're going to want to do 
is summon our elementals. We're going to examine this, and then we're going to back up, and then we're going to attack. Now, this is not the strongest build in the game. I will admit that right now. But it will have a surprising survivability rate. And as you can see, we've already gotten up to 20 plus of bleeding effects on him. And we are going to increase that bleeding as much as possible. Ready to rock! Protected. Ready to rock! Now the reason why we use the overload is because it also grants protection for our elementals as well. As I said, this is not the greatest build in the world, but at least it is one that can work for those of us who have a difficulty with the complexity of switching attunements. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Feel free to share this with anyone who is interested in elemental builds who is also struggling. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, happy gaming!